when I do coding on FreeDOS, I usually like to use the Fed editor. Fed is the folding editor and is one of the many editors that we include in FreeDOS 1.3. I like to use it because of a couple of features. One is that folding feature that I mentioned. It allows you to collapse uh, functions that you're that you're working on or rather not working on so you can focus on other uh, parts of your code, get more of that code on screen. And then two, it also does code highlighting. And it actually helps me to spot errors uh, a little bit earlier. So here I've done an install of Fed. And if I go into the apps Fed directory, CD apps, CD into Fed, you can see these are the files that just got installed. And so let's go ahead and run Fed. Now, uh, actually, if I uh, quit and go into Fed with, uh, let's say, hello.c, so we can actually see a, uh, a sample uh, C program and look at some of that code highlighting I was mentioned. So I, 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 the, uh, the default interface here is kind of plain. You get black text and sort of this white or gray background, and you get sort of an inverted status line on the bottom. And that's great. Uh, here's the uh, uh, some code that we might write. So include uh, standard io.h. And we'll put in a comment here. This is a comment. I'm not really writing a real program here. We're just looking at some sample code so we can see the, the code highlighting happening. And then uh, int main. And then uh, uh, we'll do an integer variable of an i. And then we'll do a, a loop of four i equals zero, and as long as i is less than three, and then i plus plus, and then we'll just uh, do a put s of hello world. Oops, semicolon, and then we'll turn back the operating system, turn zero, and there we go. And so this is a very simple program, but it shows a couple of things: the highlighting that I mentioned, and we can see that you know we're getting black text on a white background. Comments are showing up in blue uh, and certain other keywords are showing up in red. And that's that's great, but it's not really how I like to uh, format my code. I like to use some different colors. And so how do I do that? So I've done other videos on this channel about how to configure Fed. But if you're new to the channel, here's another video on how to configure Fed. So in most DOS programs, to go to the menu, you want to uh, hit the Alt key. And so if I just press the Alt key, you can see the menu up on top of the screen. Uh, and to configure this, uh, I want to go into the alt config. So it's really alt and then C. And that brings me into the config menu. And I can go down to uh, colors. And so here are the colors I can configure on the system. And you can see all the colors that we've been using in our sample code. Uh, text color is in this uh, black against a white background. Uh, a little further down, you can see language keywords are red against a white background. Comments are blue against a white background. And strings and numerics are also uh, red against a white background. Symbols are just like regular text. They're, they're black against a white background. Well, I like to actually use a little more uh, sort of, I guess for me, more pleasing colors. And for my text color, I'm just going to use the arrows here and the uh, and and the return key. So I can go and select any of these by using the arrow keys. I can move all around. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and select this first one. And the text color is what this first one's going to do on the left-hand side. And so I'm going to set it to white on blue. And so we'll do white for that. And because you can't have white text on a white background, I mean, you can, but it won't not something you can see. Uh, the program has changed it so now it's it's white text and a black background, uh, which is why my comments and keywords and strings and things now look a little weird. Uh, but we'll fix them in a second. And so we'll set the text background to be blue. And so I'm just hitting return when I want to select it. I'm using the arrow keys to uh, uh, to find the right color. Uh, selected text. I'd like to basically invert the colors. I want it to be. Uh, blue on a white background. And so I'm going to just hit return on this and we'll select blue. And then over here, we'll select that light gray. A folded text, I'd like that to be with a red background as well, but I like the text color itself to be a bright yellow. So we'll go down here and select a bright yellow. User interface colors, that's the menu that I'm looking at here, right? The colors menu and other uh, user interface uh, elements. So we'll, we'll hit return on that. And I like to have that be black text on a white background. And so we'll go up here and select black text and now a white background. And now you can see the status line at the bottom is now using the same color as the menu that I'm kind of looking at. 
language keywords. I like language keywords uh, to use a bright white color instead of the regular white. Again, we'll put it with a blue background. Everything else now is going to have a blue background. And my comments, uh, let's, I'd like to use a bright blue against regular blue. That effectively makes the comments kind of fade back into the background a little bit. Uh, I can still see them, I think, quite easily, but uh, it's not like in my face like it used to be, uh, which is great for a comment for me because then I sort of can, I know it's there, but it's a little bit easier to ignore. Uh, strings, I like to use uh, this orange color, sort of brown on a blue background. And my numeric constants, uh, I like to use usually a green color against, again, a blue background. And then uh, symbol characters, uh, we'll use the cyan color against a blue background. And so you can see already uh, the angle brackets, the parentheses, the curly braces, uh, those all have uh, cyan against blue. It's just sort of a nicer way to kind of look at it. Again, kind of makes everything kind of pop out a little bit. And so hitting escape to come out of that menu, you can see that my, uh, my keywords are in a bright white. Uh, my regular text, like for example, the main function name itself, standard io.h, put s, the function, the variables, uh, they're in this regular white color uh, against the blue background. My numbers, zero, three, uh, the zero again on the return, that's that's a green against blue, so I can spot uh, numbers pretty easily. Uh, you know, things like the, the semicolon and uh, the, the braces, those are all in uh, sort of the cyan color. I can see the string very easily over here because that's in this brown color. And um, again, my comment up here is, uh, in a, uh, a sort of a bright blue against regular blue, which kind of, to my eyes, makes it fade back a little bit, but I can read it still pretty easily. So uh, it allows me to just spot what, what's been commented out and what not. Uh, now we haven't seen the folding. So if I want to see uh, folding in action, so let's say I had int main here on one line uh, and I bring up the menu and I want to fold this so that way I can maybe write some other code below it or even above it. I can go into the menu. So again, alt and then uh, the folding functions under the misc menu. So I'm going to do misc uh, alt M. And then down here, you can see I'm going to fold. And now I've folded the entire function. Uh, and now I can write other code above or below it. It's a great way to, uh, uh, to make more room on screen. When I want it back, I just go back into the menu, alt M for misc, and then uh, hit fold again. And there it is. It's all, it's all back into, uh, into my editor. And so this is a great way to uh, look at code. And this is just sort of the, the way that I like to configure my Fed editor. Uh, one more thing before I go, I should probably show you how to make sure you save your configuration. So uh, go back into the config menu. So Alt will bring up the menu and see Alt C will bring up the config menu. And then down here, I need to save my config. And then hit that and you can see the status uh, message in the bottom says so it's been saved my configuration. And now I can go ahead and exit the menu, uh, the, ac the application altogether. And now the next time I go into Fed, just type Fed, uh, you can see I'm getting the white text on a blue background. So what do you think about this video? Are there other topics you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. Before I go, I should say that thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I appreciate every single one of you. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I wanted to thank you especially here for that. Visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.